So today I'm going to show us how to remove bad exposures from our stacking. Uh, once the C-star is saved, what you've done for the night, you want to go through it. And whether you're going to stack it in Cyril or write in the deep sky stack in the C-star app, it doesn't matter. But we want to remove bad exposures so that it, those don't pollute some of the good ones. And so you're going to log into your C Star app. The C Star is turned on and you're connected. Then you click on my album. And now the this is the pictures I saved and I haven't actually saved any. So I'm going to click on the C Star at the top. And that's going to show me the files that are saved on the C Star. So last night I did some IC434. And you see that there's two folders here up on the top. One is IC. 4434 and the other one is I434 sub. Well, the subs folder is the one that contains those 10 second exposures. So you click on that and you get this big long list of all of the exposures that it saved last night. And so as you're looking through them, you can't really see a whole lot because it's only a 10 second exposure. And so, but we want to kind of scroll through here and see if we can find any with visible flaws. And as we're scrolling, they all look pretty good. Oh, now we found one right here on the left. And it's got a big line through it. So a satellite went through it, a shooting star, or something went through it. So all you have to do is click on that image and it opens that image. It's really pretty cool. You can zoom in and you can see the satellite itself. It's really pretty cool to see, but we don't want that in our mix of exposures because now we need more exposures to compensate to drown out this big white bluish line. So we don't want that. So now we selected that image and now down in the bottom left hand corner, we just click the delete button and then it, it will take us back to the screen and delete that from our images. And then you're going to scroll down through them again and see if you see any that are visible and obvious and i don't really see any others yet so it looks like the rest look pretty good uh, you could go through and look at each one individually and then you can swipe to the right or left to see the next one and then you could delete them that way that way you get a bigger view on the the exposure And you see the number up at the top is changing, is telling us what time that that particular image was saved. Um, when you're back at this screen, it is pretty small. So those little squares, you can't always find every single one, especially if it's a faint line that has gone through. Uh, so looking at those pictures individually sometimes helps. And again, all you have to do to do that is click on the, the image and then scroll on your screen right to left. And you can see up at the top, that one was taking at the hour 20, 26, and 33 seconds. And now that one's at 22 seconds. That one's at two seconds, you know, cause it's not saving every single exposure. If you get to one that is really bad, sometimes it's adjusting the tracking or their star trails. It, the C star app tries to delete those using its um, coding, but it doesn't always catch everything that it needs to discard. And so this is a way you can look at them in a little bit bigger screen. And then again, if you want to delete it, you just click the little trash can in the bottom left hand corner. If you find one that you want to be able to find again easily, you can click that star in the middle and that will save it like as a favorite. And then that little box with the arrow on it, you can export that one exposure and save it to your phone. Or you can, you know, it gives you these options to export it or to download it, just like it does if you save the images. And so you can do that with each individual exposure if you want to do that. And then when you've deleted that, you can go into the Deep Sky Stack 
And at the very bottom, you're going to click Add Images. And then you're, it's only going to bring up the subs folders because that's how it does the stacking. It, it won't bring up the other folders with the same name without the sub. So the one that we were working with was that IC434 subs folder. And if I click on that, now it brings it all up with those little round dots. And it lets me select which ones I want the deep sky stack to actually stack. Up in the top right hand corner, there's a red all. If I click that, it will mark every single one of those exposures. Um, if you've gone through and deleted the bad exposures, you may want to do all of them. I didn't actually delete the one because I thought it was kind of cool. I want to go back and look at it again because you can see things. So I didn't actually delete it, but showed you how you do delete it. So if I want to keep that but not include it, now I can uncheck it by clicking on that red check and it unchecks it. And then you click OK at the bottom. And now at the bottom, you can either add more images or you can stack. And this would stack 221 of those 10 second exposures. When you click on that, it just starts the percentage. And it's going to take quite a while to stack 200 images. You know, it's 1%, 2%. So it's going to take a little bit of time to stack that, those images. But that's how you can remove some of the bad exposures from your options so it doesn't have to compensate for those and cover them up with good exposures. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Hopefully you learned something. If there's, um, you have any questions, please let us know. Um, good luck and clear skies. Wish to everybody.